These were actually my weekly reader magazines from when I was a kid. Um, if you were a kid in the 80s, and even some schools do it now still, um, you got these scholastic weekly readers in the classroom, and you would read these together in the classroom and answer the questions or write papers on them or whatever. So this one is from 1984. Must be an election year. Reagan, Bush, and Mondale Ferrero. Voters to pick a president. And they had stories here about kids picked. Kids picked President Reagan. And they talked about going to the polls and how people vote. And even ads about voting. The little say vote. <laughs> this is November 1984 calendar. Teacher Education Week, Children's Book Week, Happy 56th Birthday, Mickey Mouse. So that's kind of what you found in these weekly readers. Here's another one here from January 1985, Man Helps African Children. And it just kind of talks about different news of the world, basically. And sometimes incorporates pop culture stuff into learning in the classroom, which is kind of cool. There's uh, Mary Lou Retton. So this must have been from, well, this is 1984, so it's an Olympics year. You can see Michael Jackson on the cover there. People make the news in 1984. Miss Piggy finally tied the knot with her longtime love, Kermit. Um, Ronald Reagan is riding high after being elected. Catherine Sullivan made a giant leap in space on October 11th. She became the first American woman to walk in space. Geraldine Ferraro not only made news in 1984, she also made history. Ferraro is the first woman to run for U.S. Vice President. Well, guess what? It only took us 36 years to actually get a woman Vice President. <laughs> um, Michael Jackson was still a thriller in 1984. His year started out badly when he was hospitalized from an accident during filming of a TV commercial. His year got better. He broke music records by winning eight Grammys in July. Michael and his brothers started their 12 city tour. And Henry Charles Albert David, the newest British prince born in, uh, in 1984, September 15th. And they're going to call him Harry. But his name is Henry Charles Albert David. Hmm. I don't remember that Harry's name is not actually Harold. Or any form of Harry. <laughs> and we've got a cartoon on the back. So look at that. Learning something from Scholastic News even now. This one is from 1985 also, Heart Doctor Saves Lives. And let's, oh, this one is a couple pager here. I'm get the pages to come apart. A new way to stop choking. Heimlich Maneuver, hmm. Rudy, a little story about Rudy. She didn't get a part in the Jello pudding commercials, but she got to be on the Cosby show. We've got some TV stuff. Charles in Charge. And then inside here, 
is like a little play that you would read in the classroom. Probably you would, your teacher would set you up into groups and each group would read that little play. Um, let's see, it looks like there's a little map activity that I completed. A poem called My Little Pony. There is a little pony who played in the grass. His saddle was leather and his bit was brass. He lived in a stable. He ran in the ring. He walked on the trails over jumps. He did spring. His color was black. His name was Spurk. He was very tiny, but he loved his work. <laughs> I was all for that up until the Spurk part. <laughs> How the heart works. And some questions you had to answer. And then the next one is Mr. T. Mr. T says no to drugs. This one is 1985. And let's see, there's Garfield makes millions. Remember when that Supergirl movie came out? There's a little story here. A little advertisement for CBS and how the Grinch stole Christmas. Still my favorite version of the Grinch. Get Along Gang and the Christmas Thief. How cool is that? This is a little poem. Not a poem, like a little play that you would read together. Here's Get Along Gang's Town. That's fun. Say No to Drugs. The February calendar. And then this last one, this is called Sprint. This is 1986, so I guess maybe this is like when you're older, you get the more involved one. So you got the Who's the Boss family on the front here. You've got Elf. And some little Snoopy stuff. This is a episode of Who's the Boss that you would probably read in the classroom. Maybe like the whole episode. There's a puzzle here, crossword puzzle. I love crossword puzzles. Apparently I had terrible handwriting. This is about Charles Schultz. And let's see. How are you feeling today? Say it with color. Be a poet. Oh, I wrote a poem here. Let's see. The title of the poem is Love. Love is the color red. It is not blood red, and it is not tomato red. It is heart red. Oh, look at that. I should have been a poet laureate. And then, let's see, the B team. Some sort of little comic about kids being bad at sports. I could definitely um, relate to that. And then a first aid, how you put on a band-aid. And then on the back is a little puzzle trying to figure out what this is. Do you know what it is? If you did the whole puzzle, you'd know it was a candy cane. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I just thought I want to share these with you before I sent them out because somebody did buy them. And I um, hope you have a great day. Make sure to comment down below. Do you remember reading these Scholastic News Weekly Readers? Um, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I have lots of other fun 80s, 70s, 90s nostalgic stuff here on my channel. And if you get a chance, please watch one of the commercials. Thanks. Bye.